Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're gonna do a quick little repair on this Honda Civic. This is a 2011 model. So it doesn't matter if you have 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Honda Civic, 13, 14, 15. Alright, procedure is going to be similar. So this car has a misfire, it has a little shake to it, that's what it's doing. You hold the steering and you feel it. We're going to look at the exhaust, it's misfiring. One of the ignition coil is bad. It's usually very simple for you to fix a car. If you have a coil such as P0301, P0302, P0303, P0304, you most likely have a misfire. P0301 is uh, cylinder one, two would be uh, the ends with two, would be cylinder two, the code that ends with three would be three and four, so on. But anyways, in this car, we have um, cylinder number three misfire, P0303, and I'm gonna show you exactly where cylinder one, two, and number three is, and also four. So if you have an issue, Change your spark plugs regularly and uh, most likely your ignition coil will fail like this car. I'm going to show you exactly which cylinder we're looking at and um, I'm, the customer said he has a used coil. He must have changed it before and uh, so he's going to bring you one of those. We're going to put a new, uh, the coil he's going to bring which is old, a used coil and we're going to drop that in. But anyways, you can also take the ignition coil, change it from a cylinder like say minus three was misfiring. You swap it, okay? It's called a swap test. You swap it to cylinder number two, and then if you see that cylinder two is misfiring now, there you go. You you found your issue. That coil was bad. But anyways, let's start up this car. All right, so we're gonna go inside the car. Let's start up this car first. Check engine light is on. Okay, so if I put this car to drive. It has a tremendous amount of shake. Okay. So yeah, if I put the camera on here, you're gonna feel the shake. The camera's gonna shake. There you go, it's shaking on its own. My hands are out of the way. But anyways, uh, let me put this to park. Also, if you're driving and that check engine light flashes, that's uh, also a misfire, okay? Feel that? Look at that. And I can smell like it smells really bad from the muffler. But anyways, I'm gonna shut this car down and we're gonna go under the hood. All right, so under the hood, so now you would be wondering which is cylinder number three. Okay, so usually on these Hondas, a four cylinder in line, the belt is here, so it starts on this side. Cylinder number, ignition coil number one, cylinder number two, so that's the coil number two, cylinder three, cylinder four. So if you have a code P0301, this is the one you're looking at. P0302, P0303, P0304, okay? So we have 303 code, P0303. So this is the cylinder we're looking at, okay? So it's very simple. All you do is you push on this tab here. You remove this connector, okay? Sometimes you can even use a pick. But it has a number 10 millimeter socket right there. If you like, you can uh, run the car, pull the connector. If the engine is shaking, it stays shaking, Okay, then you know this uh, removing this did not make any difference. But if you pull one of these, or one of this, one of this, one at a time, okay, you can't do more than one, it'll shut down. If you pull this one and the engine is shaking and then it gets worse, that means this coil is bad. You take this coil, swap it here, take this one, put it there, and test it here. So if the it makes changes that this one first originally wasn't making a difference, now this one, when you move the here, it makes a difference here, but not with this coil here. That will determine that your ignition coil is bad. To replace this ignition coil, let me get a number 10. I'm so waiting on the customer to bring me ignition coil, but I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to change. So I went and got me a number 10 millimeter, 3 8 ratchet extension and a ratchet, that's about it. So all you do is, you turn this, okay? I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise, remove this bolt here. So this bolt comes right off. And you wanna inspect a few more things, okay? Once you have this ignition coil out, so you're gonna pull this ignition, just grab it and pull it, it comes right off. If you have any oil here, okay? If you have oil, that's gonna cause a misfire. That'd be uh, that your valve cover gasket is bad, but in this one, uh, it could be a different Civic, but this one, valve cover is way out of the way. So we're not gonna have that issue. We can have an internal, like there's like a, there might be a seal in there, but we're not gonna have that kind of issue on this car. But anyways, to put it back in, all you do, you simply put this in, you take your number 10, 
I'm still waiting for the ignition coil. So we are gonna put a new coil and lock this up, okay? And you're gonna take this connector, make sure this connector is on and make sure it clicks. After that, you can start the car. If your car runs smooth, all you need to do is reset the light, okay? And again, if your check engine light was flashing while you were driving, similar procedures. You need to scan the car first, get the code, and tackle the problem. But anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. If you guys need any other help with anything on this car, send me a message or any other car. Bye-bye.